Hello and welcome to Toyland. Today we're going to be reading um a little miss book today. It's called Mr. Bump. And there he is. And these are all the characters we can collect. And we only have this one. We can do any others. Look at all these. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the book up and see what he's like. Oh, poor Mr. Bump. Seems like he's really clumsy. Look at all the bandages. Mr. Bump was just at the same home. He lived in an extremely nice home. But even there, he couldn't help, help having those little accidents. Now, a lot of people have tiny little accidents. And they're not just, they're not very bad, okay? For instance, one morning when Mr. Bump went outside his house, he noticed the that the chimney pod had uh, come loose in a storm the night before. I must fix that before it falls off, thought Mr. Bump to himself. And he hurried to his garden and fetched a ladder, a very long ladder. And I don't like heights, though. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Mr. Bump walked up the garden path with the ladder on his shoulder. He turned to the corner of the garden path. CRASH! went to the living room window. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump, and he turned to see what happened. Crash! went the win uh, kitchen window beh uh, behind him. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump again, as he rested the ladder against the wall of the house, so that he can climb up on the roof to mend the chimney pot. Crash! went the um, bedroom window. Now, we, had a we are having our house constructed right now, and there's a, and I keep hearing bangs, um, and I, I think you can hear it in the video because we're moving soon, and we need to get ready with the house. So you can see how Mr. Bump had a little accidents. Mr. Bump had many jobs, but somehow there they never seemed to last very long. As soon as anything got lost or broken, splintered or chipped or snapped or cracked or torn or burst, wrench, crunch or split or slit, Mr. Bump got the blame. That's like me, guys. <laughs> I always get blamed for everything. It's kind of annoying. Like when I go outside, it's like, hey, where's the drinks gone? And we need to take this outside. And then my parents are like, I didn't, I didn't get it. And then they don't believe me. Can you believe that? Um, for instance, when Mr. Bump worked in the farm, he tripped over the farm dog and split the milk he was carrying for the farmer's wife, and which the farm cat lamped up, or drink up, like my cat like that. For instance, when Mr. Bump uh, was a postman, he got his hand stuck in the pillar box, and they had to fetch the fire brigade. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember this time when I um, got, I literally got trapped in an elevator, I mean sorry, a lift, yeah I was in a hall, I think I was going to, I was in a train, I remember, we was, when we went to uh, El Kimo, we went in one of the lifts, and I literally got trapped, alright, and then it was the worst, I got a huge mark on my arm, that was when I went to El Kimo, I didn't film it back then, but oh my god, if I film that I would be banned, so, I mean, it was kind of, that's kind of For instance, when Mr. Bumps was a, a bus conductor, he fell off and couldn't catch up again. And all the passengers shows up without having to pay. Really, bro. I mean, <coughs> really? For instance, when Mr. Bump was a carpenter, he found that he was having nails. He was having his thumb all the time. <laughs> That happened to me and when I was a baby. I was like playing with hammers. Don't play with hammers. And I literally, I literally smashed it on with this finger. And I, it just came off. I like it grow back, guys. Don't worry, it's still there. It was tiny. Okay, it was no nail because I did I hammer it. I thought it was like something else. In order to recover from all the serious unfortunate that happened, Mr. Bump decided to take a holiday. Then he would think what sort of a job he remains to everyone. Like, I want to take a holiday. I took a holiday to Scarborough so I can have a break up from all the hustle and bustle. 
So off he went to stay at the train station and went to the seaside. Like I did. A, um, oh, that was a month ago, guys. Remember that? And when we went to the uh, sky, but we did the same thing. While Mr. Bob was on a holiday, several things happened. For instance, he fell off a boat into the sea. I have a similar story. When I went to Scarba once, I literally went on the boat and I li almost fell off because I was so close to the balcony. And people had to rescue. For instance, one day when he was crying, um, walking across the um, <laughs> beach, he was minding his own business and he got his foot stuck in a bucket and he couldn't quite get it off. He had to walk round it with his foot for hours and another cinema story i stepped on a jellyfish and i got an electric shock guys so that's how clumsy i am and that was the same day can you believe that for instance when he won walked along the beach it's night time that's not a good idea he walked straight into a large hole and got someone on his duck and he had to stay there all night because he couldn't climb on his own however despite the little accident Mr. Bum enjoyed his holiday, and while he was there, he did a splendid idea what he should do. It was a splendid idea. Oh my god, so sorry guys, that's the alarm, I need to turn it off. Um, let's just turn these off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, I'm really sorry about that. Five percent. <laughs> and now, uh, Mr. Bump happily ever after. Bye. Right, I can't read it anymore. My laptop is gonna. I mean, my tablet's gonna die. So that's the all of us. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, I'm weird.